want to sleep in a hollow log. Hey, Miss Mabel, let me be your hopping frog. I got ten little puppies, got twelve little shaggy hounds. Take them twenty-two dogs to run Miss Mabel down. Hey, Miss Mabel, let me be your hopping frog. Howdy folks, Blues Boy Jag here, yet another six string cigar box guitar lesson. It's R.L. Burnside's Miss Maybill. We are tuned open G, the sixth string, tuned down to a D. This fifth string, or A string, is tuned down to a G. Fourth string tuned normal to D. Third string tuned normal to G. Second string tuned normal to B. And the first string is also tuned down to a D. So your outside two strings are D. And your A strings tuned down to a G. Let's get right to it. So, the main riff. Let me take my slide off. Generally speaking, what he's doing here, sometimes he changes it up. There's a whole lot of different versions of R.L. Burnside's uh, songs. So this one is... So what I'm doing is using that thumb on the fifth string, then I'm going to the fourth string. So I'm going uh, starting on that third fret on the fifth string. So let me zero in on the big strings. That's just your fifth string on the third fret, then the fourth string open, then the fourth string second fret, and then fourth string open. Then we do a pull off, off the fifth string, third fret, and then we pluck it. So it's a pull off, and then we pluck it again. Now the last chord is, this is your high G chord, pinky on one five. You can use your third finger as well. Now notice there's a little strum here at the end of this riff. It's a up, down, up. The trick of this song is the down, up with your right hand. So, I just changed that riff to a choking riff. There's two different ways to do this. Actually, there's probably a whole bunch of different ways to do it. But sometimes RL would do a choke on it. And he's choking with the fretting hand. Sometimes, I guess, he chokes with the, with the uh, strumming hand. But most of the time, it's the fretting hand. which can be a little bit confusing at first because you have to choke after you fret. So don't fret and don't choke. Wait, actually you do need to choke. So don't fret, but do choke. Now I'm choking with my strum hand. If I choke with the fretting hand, it's slightly different. I'm fretting with that first finger and I'm choking with these fingers. So you can strum all six strings, you can strum just the fifth string, you can strum the fifth and fourth, fifth and fourth and third, fifth and fourth, third, second, all of them, doesn't matter. Just make sure you mute out that D string because that gets in the way and it's much louder and it kind of doesn't sound all that good. So if I do. Right, so it's just a bunch of garbly gook. So what I'm going to do here is mute out that sixth string with my thumb. 
Now I'm choking with my fretting hand. I've showed you this many times on my uh, videos, but for those of you who haven't seen it, all right, so let me show you this faster. See my fingers bouncing up and down? That's that's choking. So I'm fretting and then I'm choking with this hand, not this hand. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you get it, it's super easy. So the last chord is pinky on one five. I'm doing an up. This is kind of ambiguous, but I'm doing, uh, the only notes I'm fretting are fifth string and fourth string, fourth, fourth string. Or you can do all six. I'm, I'm only fretting these and I'm strumming all six. So that last part is open up down up so that's the first part of the song and there's only one other part which is basically just I'm using my thumb on the big string big G and my first finger on the third string G I'm only playing those two but you can play all of them if you want it's a G chord Let me be your hopping frog. Sit down, drink money, water, sleep in a hollow log. Hey, Miss Maybell, let me be your hopping frog. So when he says hopping frog on the word frog, you play the fifth string, uh, third fret. Then you go back to the riff. And that's the whole song. Two riffs. Pinky up here, or and then the verse is the two G strings, thumb on five, first finger on three. Now, another thing I do, and RL does this too. I got ten little puppies, got twelve little shaggy hounds. Take them twenty-two dogs and run, Miss Mabel down. Hey, Miss Mabel, let me be your hopping ball. Now, when you play your slide, here's what RL does. So when I play that, I'm really kind of banging the strings with my thumb. Then when I get to the, that riff there, I'm on the 12th fret, top three or four strings, and I do a real quick warble, or whatever you want to call it. Then I do a quick up, down, up. I got ten little puppies, got twelve little shaggy hounds. Take them twenty-two dogs and run Miss Mabel down. Hey, Miss Mabel, let me be your hopping phone. So there's one little kind of nitpicky thing, hop and frog, hop and frog. So when I do frog, I'm only pressing down that fifth string on the third fret, but I'm also playing the third string sometimes. I mix it up all the time. That's a really cool, nasty sounding chord. So I've got my thumb on the fifth string and my first finger on the open G. 
So that's a G, A, B, that's a B and a G. Those two do go together because they're part of a G chord. It just sounds interesting having the B on the bass right there. Anyway. Ten little puppies got twelve little shaggy hounds. Take them twenty-two dogs and run Miss Mabel now. Hey, Miss Mabel, let me be your hop and fall. Now, when you do hop and fall, it goes right back to the riff. And believe it or not, that's the entire song. You can improvise and play some solos with the slide, too. So sometimes I'll do these little improvs. So I'm playing 5-3-0 on all the strings. So what I'm doing here is my first finger on the first string 12th fret and my thumb is on the third string 12th fret. I'm just going down two frets and sliding back up. And I'm playing the first, second, and third strings. First, second, third. Hope you all enjoyed this lesson. Please subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying my lessons and spread the word. Check out my website, jagshouse.com. Cigar box guitars since 2004, over 4,000 sold. We'll see you next time.